Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Mel Soul Golf School. I am Mel Soul, Director of Instruction and Master Professional and we are located at Paulie's Plantation Golf and Country Club, Sea Trail Resort at Ocean Beach, uh, North Carolina, sorry, the Sunset Beach and then Ellicottville, New York at Holiday Valley Resort. I am up there every year but the last week of June and the first week of July so if you're interested in having some instruction from me and you live up in that area, book a golf school, come and see me. Not only will you have a good time at the golf school, the afternoons you can go out on the golf course, play some golf. It's a very nice golf course, not that hard, so it's a little easier for the average golfer. Great restaurants in the town, you'll have a good time. I want to talk about warming up before the round and not just going to the range and hitting some quick balls and then rushing to the first tee but actually doing a stretch and I'm going to show you basically what I do and you can do something similar you can, you might have some of your own but there are certain muscles in the body that need to be warmed up and stretched before the round there's two reasons a you're going to play better golf because your muscles are a bit more reactive B, it helps prevent injury. If the muscles are warm and, and flexible, you take a swing on the first tee, you could pull a muscle. Uh, I remember many, many years ago, Gary Player uh, was heading to the range uh, before his round and he heard on the um, speaker system, you know, next on the tee, Gary Player. He didn't realize they were making that announcement a half an hour before he was due on the tee. He was next on the tee, but there was a half an hour gap. So he thought he was had very little time. He ran to the tee, put up a tee and hit a driver. He never made it to the first tee. He tore his back and he couldn't play. So I'm going to give you a couple of stretches. First of all, I use the alignment stick. So if you put the alignment stick above you here, these muscles, the lats down your side, need to be stretched. So holding it here and bending to the side, and what I try and do is I try and get to where the alignment stick is 90 degrees to the ground. I come up, I'm doing all of these stretches very gently. You can see I'm doing them very, very slowly. If I get to a point where I feel like okay, I can't go anymore, I'll just hold it there for a little bit longer, allow the muscle to stretch into it and then take a deep breath, breathe out and I can go a little bit further. So you can see I'm not as flexible on this side as I was on the other side. So maybe I do a little bit more over there at home, get that side here stretched a bit more. Because I'm swinging a club right-handed, these muscles get stretched a lot more than my, my right side. This exercise here where you're practicing backswing, that really helps with a shoulder turn and going through to that side. So I'm feeling a really, really, really good stretch in my back. I can take this through as far as I can. I can go back here as far as I can. If I get stuck, again, hold it there for a while, take a deep breath, breathe out, and I can take it a little bit further. One of the things I also use is the orange whip. Now the orange whip, you can look on eBay and see if you can find one of these. The retail price of these is around $120, but you can find them on eBay for about $50. That's where I got this one. And you start off slowly. So this is again, working on your rotational speed. So you're swinging slowly. And the weight is fairly heavy, so when you go, it pulls you back and it pulls you through. So look at my, my shoulder turn there is pretty good, my follow through there is pretty good. And slowly I can increase the speed. That's loosening all these muscles in my back. So now I've loosened my lats, I've loosened my back. Those, at least now when I start hitting balls, I'm going to start hitting balls with a little half shot. So when I warm up, I'm just going nine o'clock, three o'clock. That's always has been for the last 30 years. That's my first shots that I hit. 
is at 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. That is the foundation of the golf swing. And so I reinforce everything like that before I ever go to the full swing. By the time I go to the full swing, I've got the blood circulating in my muscles. I'm ready to play. Again, like I said last month, the consistency factor will be there. You'll play a lot more consistency when these muscles are going into action well oiled. Try it, don't be lazy.